I've been talking about uh, the fact that Republicans need to start acting like they are in a fight. This is not to say the left is not going to push back. They are. They're going to push back and we have to push back against them. Now, one guy who actually understands this and, I, and knows how to fight is Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida. And a case exhibit here is his fight with Disney. Now, uh, to update you on the story, Ron DeSantis, uh, through the legislature, took away a bunch of Disney's special protections and provisions and established a new oversight board to make the rules governing how Disney relates to the state of Florida. But unknown to Ron DeSantis, the old board, which was, by the way, pretty much established with the, uh, with the collusion of Disney, was kind of a Disney-controlled board. Disney signed a secret agreement with that board, a 30-year agreement, a kind of binding agreement. And Disney basically goes, ha, 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 you have a new board, but the new board has no power. Guess why? Because the old boards uh, uh, worked with us in, in, in crafting this agreement that essentially immunized us against anything that you want to do. Uh, basically, we now control not only the parks, but the roads that lead up to the parks, the, 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 the tax district that Disney inhabits, and so on. Now, again, a weak Republican would have been like, oh, wow, they really got me. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, at least I tried. I made an effort, guys. No. So Ron DeSantis is like, listen, this is not going to work. If you think that a private corporation, Disney, can defeat the people of the state of Florida operating democratically through the state legislature, you are sorely mistaken. Uh, and Ron DeSantis says, look, um, I I'm now quoting him, come hell or high water, we're going to make sure the policy of Florida carries the day. Ultimately, we are going to win on every single issue involving Disney. I can tell you that they are not superior to the people of Florida. So this is, again, a, a governor who knows I have power. I need to use it. So DeSantis goes, number one, we're going to pass some new laws that make it really clear who's in charge. We're going to take this existing contract that was surreptitiously signed to court and challenge it. Number three, we're going to levy new tolls and taxes on Disney and more taxes on the Disney hotels. So if Disney thinks that somehow they pulled a fast one, they can defeat the governor, they can defeat the state of Florida. No, uh, for, we'll see how binding this, this surreptitious agreement is. Very often, if an agreement has been carried out um, in this way, it's subverting a legislature, a court is going to look at it and say, no, listen, it's the legislature that makes the rules. You can't, it would be like, like saying that an outgoing Supreme Court, because there are new members coming into the court, decides, let's make laws for the whole country for the next 100 years, and let's declare that these laws cannot be changed by anybody else. They're, in effect, constitutional interpretations written in stone nonsense. A new court can come in and go, listen, we interpret the Constitution a different way. We're going by the same votes that you did, except the outcome is going to be different. Sorry, Roe versus Wade is not going to be the law of the land anymore, no matter what you think. Um, so, so um, Disney is um, Disney had better watch out because again, uh, I'm not quoting DeSantis. They're acting like somehow they pulled one over on the state. Suffice to say, you know, the legislature is going to void anything that Disney did on the way out the door. So in other words, on the way out the door, Disney kind of corral the old board and go, listen, guys, let's make a deal. Let's kind of cut out the new guys so they won't be able to do anything. That's really what Disney is all about. And so Disney has good lawyers uh, and Disney has been a kind of. Uh, I wouldn't say, I mean, an elephant, I suppose you could say, in, in the state of Florida. It's, a, it's probably the most powerful corporation in the state of Florida. And so they think, okay, well, listen, we're more powerful than the governor. We run the state. Uh, but they don't run the state. And they finally have a governor who is not going to put up with this kind of nonsense. So Disney picked the wrong fight with the wrong guy. Um, the fight, by the way, precedes the current leadership of Disney. It involves the company's former CEO, Bob Chapek, when he came out basically against Disney's, uh, Disney's law that was a law against teaching very young children about sexual orientation, LGBTQ propaganda, uh, trans indoctrination. And Disney acted like the state of Florida was sort of outlawing homosexuality or, uh, or acting in a fascist manner and declared itself as a corporation uh, 
uh, in a public stance against the governor and in a sense against the people of Florida because who makes laws? The people make laws through their elected representatives. So this is a very interesting fight and it's very important for Ron DeSantis not to give in, not to back down. So far, the good signs are that he's not doing that. He recognizes that he's in a fight, but it's a fight that he is more than ready for.